لَنَجَعَلْ مِنْ دُونِهَا سِتْرَ A people Sometimes the Quran is agonizingly short in expression Agonizingly Only four or five words That's all that you have لَمْ نَجْعَلْ لَهُمْ مِنْ دُونِهَا سِتْرَ we have not provided for them as a covering other than this covering covering from what? who are they? we have to try to penetrate now and give our own understanding it appears to us that it is the natural covering that you have from the sunshine so a people living a primitive way of life A people living a primitive way of life. When power rests on the foundations of faith, how will power be used when it confronts a people living a primitive way of life? Will they also have human rights, primitive peoples? Or do they have less than rights that others have? Suppose you have a whole basin of oil underneath there and this oil company has located and discovered this huge basin of oil billions of barrels of oil underneath there but above it's the primitive people living this primitive way of life which takes priority the rights of exploitation of the oil or the rights of the people to live on this stuff. The false sunrise says the oil is more important. So take the people and ship them to Siberia. <laughs> people are not important. You can dispense with their rights. Power is used to exploit the resources of the earth for our benefit but not Zulkarnain Catholic Catholic even it's only one word that's all one word Catholic وَقَدْ أَحَطْنَ بِمَا لَلَيْهِ خُبْرًا Allah uses one word to respond Catholic وَقَدْ أَحَبْنَا مِبَالَ لَيْهِ خُبْرًا And Zulkarnain We understood Allah understood Why he acted in the way that he did He left them as they were Undisturbed Indicating that the human rights The human rights Of even the most primitive of all people Take precedence over Aramco <laughs> The human rights of even the most primitive of all people and he left them as they were. And then he went on to the third journey, which is verse number 92. They had asked of only two journeys to the two ends of the earth. But Allah knew that they wanted to know whether Nabi Muhammad knew about the third journey. That's why they only asked about two. And Allah is now giving a third answer. Having given the first and the second, He now goes to the actual target of the question, which is the third journey. And it is on the third journey that you come to one of the major signs of Akhiru Zaman, which was the target of the question. They wanted to know whether Nabi Muhammad knew about Gog and Magog. And so now, he travels in the third direction. He comes to a place between two, a pass between two mountain ranges. On this side are mountains, on this side are mountains. And in between there is a pass. Can we locate 
geographically where we talking about is it possible a pass between two mountain ranges and there he come across he came across a people he came across a people whose language he could not understand because their language was unique their language had no connections with other language in that region it was a language which was not connected with all the other languages in that region it was a unique language we're getting clues along the way important clues for locating when they had learned to communicate with each other then these people spoke to Zulkarne and said to him Ya Zulkarne O Zulkarne Inna ya'juja wa ma'juja musiduna fil up Gog and Magog are committing acts of facade in our territory there are many sins that we can commit but only some of them are called crimes a sin you punished up there but a crime you punish here as well and amongst the crimes amongst the criminal acts that we can commit there are gradations of punishment like if you steal cut off your hand but the punishment that is severest of all is the punishment for facade it is not only that which corrupts but also destroys so societies can collapse societies can be destroyed because of facade not just individuals or families and facade comes in many different forms for example uh, Sodom and Gomorrah and their homosexuality that's facade the corruption of agriculture that's facade hmm? many different kinds of facade described in the Quran and a good student will want to do some research and write a paper on facade in the Quran so Gog and Magog have PhDs in facade and so the punishment is the most terrible of all at the lowest level of punishment is banishment but at the highest level of punishment it is cut off the hands and feet on opposite sides and crucify them until death that's the worst punishment in the Quran and this is what Gog and Magog do but in the hadith Allah speaks about Gog and Magog and he says I have created creatures of mine so powerful Sahih Muslim that none but I can destroy them so they have almost an indestructible power and they use their power exactly opposite to Zulkarnain he uses his power to punish the oppressor but they use their power to oppress he uses his power to reward those who are righteous in conduct and treat them nicely they use their power to wage war on the believers he uses his power in such a way that shows respect for human rights even the human rights of the aboriginal aborigines of Australia the human rights of the American Indian tribes who love the earth and respected the sky and the rivers and the sea and the trees and the birds far more than the American people would ever 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 do 
How do you treat these people? He respected their human rights and left them as they were, but not Gog and Magog. Today the American Indians and the Canadian Indians are in prison and they're drinking alcohol and they're wearing blue jeans and eating McDonald's hamburgers. That's where they are today, from what they were before. Also, Karnin, can you help us? You have the power. Can you build a barrier to protect us from these people? He should have said, I don't need to build any barrier. I'll move in there and I'll beat them up. And they won't touch you anymore. Huh? Like if a Muslim woman is walking on the street of Brooklyn. Nobody dares to molest her. Oh no. Not a Muslim woman. Not in Brooklyn. Not in Harlem. Not in the Bronx. Could you make the mistake of molesting a Muslim woman. All the men will be on you like tigers. And they'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Hmm? So I don't need to build any barrier. I'll go and teach them a lesson they'll never forget. But no, he didn't say that. They said, we're prepared to pay you. He said, I don't need your money. What Allah has given to me is more valuable. He recognized that even though he had this power, his power was not enough to be able to go and teach them a lesson. So he agreed to build the barrier, recognizing that their power was so great that even he could not defeat them. What I need from you is your labor. Help me with your manpower. And I'm going to build a barrier between you. Now number 96, verse number 96. Bring me blocks of iron. And so that has to be a geographical location where there's iron ore. It has to be a geographical location where there are mountain ranges and a pass between the mountain ranges. It has to be a geographical location where on the left you have a body of water which is so dark and murky that visibility is very shallow, okay? And it has to be an area where there are large deposits of iron or bring me blocks of iron. And after he had covered the pass with blocks of iron, he said, build a furnace, blow with your bellows and now bring me molten copper. So he poured the molten copper and the engineers, we have an engineer here, tells me that this is to prevent rust. And after he had built the barrier and covered it, the Quran speaks, it changes from the word Saddain to use another word, Sadafain. In verse number 95, Atuni Zubar al Hadid, Hatta is a sawa bain as Sadafain. Previously, the word used was Saddain, but now the word used is Sadafain. Saddain is two barriers, two mountain ranges, but Sadafain is something else. It is like the two sides of a shell. We're going to have some pictures of this now. The two sides of a shell, you've been to the seashore. When you open a shell like this, it will join at the bottom, but open at the top. That's the shape of the pass between the mountains. Join at the bottom, open at the top. Hmm? So when he had blocked off this space, this sadafain, now the molten copper is put on it, and then he says, has a rahmatum mi rabbi. Oh, Gog and Magog could neither scale the barrier nor could they penetrate it. So they are now trapped behind the barrier. And so Zulkarni now says, has a rahmatum mi rabbi. This barrier is constructed in, in, in consequence of Allah's kindness and grace. For Isa Jaa Wadu Rabbi, but when that time come of which 